Shakur Stevenson said he messed with Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder because he's a real one. We're going to talk about that. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Listen, I dropped the illest content in boxing. Dope. If you want to be a part of this community, all things boxing, the sweet science, make sure you click the subscribe button, share the video, like the video. You can also below hit the join button to become a channel member or you can hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Now, Shakur Stevenson, he's fresh off of a victory, um, different criticisms and thoughts on his performance. But all in all, he got the victory got the W, which is important. He took to his social media. I'm not sure what he's seen, but I retweeted it. But he randomly, you know, it's probably not random for him, but. He says, Wilder, a real one. I up with him 100. So it could just be his demeanor or maybe he's seen an interview and, and Wilder was cooking and saying things that Shakur Stevenson liked. And I'm glad to see a young fighter like Shakur Stevenson um, give that type of recognition to Deontay Wilder. Listen, I don't know what it is, but this Tyson Fury 2 fight got a lot of people acting different. And I feel... It's sad, Errol Spence talked about this, but it's sad that a lot of people, um, when Wilder was knocking everybody out, then they seem seemingly were in his corner. But now you have like different situations going on, like miscommunications. Um, some people say Wilder's making too many excuses. Miscommunications like Jamel Charlo says he got street dudes willing to do life. And you know, he just got a different, there's a lot of different stuff going on surrounding Wilder's name. And I feel like for a person who's an American star, the first person to become a heavyweight, American heavyweight since Shannon and Cannon Briggs. And he reigned and had double digits, entered the likes of like Muhammad Ali's and the Klitschko's of the world with his title defenses. It just seems like people would put more respect on Wilder's name, but to each his own. I'm glad Shakur Stevenson is speaking up and saying he messed with Wilder. I can't wait for this fight. Fury versus Wilder, July 24th, is going to be a great fight. And I also noticed this. It seems like, I don't know. I don't know if it's part of the top-ranked culture, but it's good because Shakur is a top-ranked fighter, and so is Tyson Fury. Now, he didn't say anything negative about Tyson Fury, but I noticed there's a lot of guys who are signed to top rank, and they all have like almost negative things to say about Deontay Wilder. And I don't know if it's just because... He's signed to top rank, and that's a top rank fighter. Maybe they know him personally. I don't know. But um, guys like Pauli Malignaggi, you know, former fighter, he's also had a lot to say. Wilder's going to get eviscerated. So it's good to see pro fighters actually, you know, stand with Wilder in solidarity and show that they have respect. It's crazy that Shakur Stevenson, he's an American Olympian. Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder, American Olympian. Andre Ward, American Olympian. You have also people like Floyd Mayweather, American Olympian. And because they're African-American black males, you see old media and it seems like they, all of a sudden nobody's patriotic. You know, you see a lot of hate thrown that way and it's just crazy. So it's, it's, it's insane because a guy like Inoue can come from Japan, fight in America. People might not even know much about him. I'm not sure if he speaks English. I personally have never heard him speak English, but he can get all the recognition and respect. But then you have other talented fighters who are homegrown and from America, the Shakur Stevensons, the Devin Haney's, the Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. You understand the common language of English. They speak English. They're their own fighters, you know, Jamel and Jamal Charlo, past fighters, Floyd, Andre Ward, and what a coincidence. They don't seem like they can get a fair shake. Shakur Stevenson won against Nakathila. You can say whatever you want, but Yahoo Sports removed him from the top 10 pound for pound list that they had him on. They said he was top 10 pound for pound, but after that performance, they took him off. Then Ring Magazine has a Ring Magazine champion in Jermail Charlo, and he has all these belts and a Ring Magazine belt. And Jermail Charlo, an American fighter who's about to fight for Undisputed, who looks like he's grinding ring magazine won't put him on the on the list and it's crazy but then they put like fighters from japan and 
Ioka and other people that a lot of people don't even know. Look, that's just crazy that, like I said, I've always said this on my channel. It's crazy that you have a black man with all these belts and he's an American fighting in America, about to fight for Undisputed. And people, the fact that this picture exists where he's blinged out with all his drip and all his belts and all his hardware and these pictures exist and some people are still trying to say he's not that dude and he's not doing it the right way and you know refuse to put him on a list is crazy so again Deontay Wilder he always gets the short end of the stick when it comes to old media but a lot of people are riding with him it looks like Shakur Stevenson for whatever reason put that and said he's riding with Deontay Wilder and it's good to see Wilder get his just due because like I said when it comes to American fighters it seems like old media is picking everyone against the American fighter, you know, and I don't care where you're from. There's great fighters from all walks of life, but it would be nice to see the reception that you see anybody else get. That's not even from America, like the Pacquiao's, the Inouye's, the Ioka's, the Gennady Golovkin, hey, my God, hey, Max, you know, Canelo, different fighters. They get all this recognition for fighting in America. And then you have fighters, look at his shirt, fighting to this day, to this day, that are actually standing for American causes and fighting in America and exciting. People loved Gennady Golovkin. They said, we love him because he's an action fighter. Well, guess what? Wilder's an action fighter. And he has more supreme knockouts than Gennady Golovkin. But for whatever reason, old media, they act like they hate Wilder. You know, oh, he's not too, he's not technical enough for me. OK, Floyd Mayweather is the most technical fighter of this generation and you hate him, too. So you guys tell me what it is in the comments section. Shout out to Shakur Stevenson. I can't wait to see what's next for him. Um, I, I said my opinion. I did think his fight got a little or a bit repetitious and anticlimactic, but a victory is a victory. And sometimes you got to just take take the win how you want and learn from it and grow from it. So it sounds like that's what he's willing to do. Let me know what you guys think of Shakur Stevenson. Um, hopefully he gets the big opportunities like Oscar Valdez. You know, I don't know if Top Rank is going to give him that fight, but he's been calling for it since featherweight. He, he needs those big challenges. Let me know what you guys think. Use my link in the description to get to, buddy. That's an awesome way to make money on this YouTube platform. I've been using it for years. It can help you too. Optimize your videos with TubeBuddy. Click the link in the description it takes money to make money if you want to ball out and make some money on this youtube stuff like your boy ego it's gonna be some work why not use TubeBuddy to help you get to that moment drop your thoughts in the comment section shakur says he messed with deontay the bronze bummer wilder something provoked him to say that you know and hopefully we'll get respect for guys that you see in america fighting and trying to fight the best right drop your thoughts in the comment section as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego so i don't know are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy i've used tubebuddy for years to scale up my youtube channel now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers tubebuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.